Hey guys, Skidoo Ambassador Dave Nerona and I'm super excited to introduce to you the new 2022 Ski and Snowboard Rack. This thing is insanely awesome. Uh, I personally have done lots of work with the engineers on it and I hope you're going to love it as much as I do. Now first and foremost, one of the things we're going to talk about first is the hitch bumper. Now you do not need to add any bumper over your regular bumper on your G4 short tunnel to add the ski and snowboard rack. Personally I do because number one I love this bumper, it's stronger, it uh, allows you to tow um, with, it, with the uh, hitch on the back. It provides an extra um, uh, hole for uh, attaching to the snowmobile so it makes it stronger overall and increases the strength of the tunnel. So that's why I've used it in the installation of this system with my ski and snowboard rack but you do not need to. So you can save money just by attaching the ski racks to the snowmobile using your regular um, stock bumper or you can also add this hitch bumper. If you're gonna tow, if you're going to want to increase the uh, rigidity of the tunnel, and it's also a simple and easy way to do that. Also made a video on how to uh, talk a little bit about it, so you can check that out as well. Now, getting back to the ski and snowboard rack, really, really easy install with the uh, heavy duty bumper because the back hole here comes pre-drilled, so you just drill through, uh, follow that through right through the tunnel, add the button and the rack slides right on the link position too on the front we actually now make a new link position we call it link zero so it's right in front of the number one position and then you um, drill and put that in with the uh, provided uh, template as well as drill a hole for it to go right into the snowmobile. So the front actually does not even uh, touch the, the bumper. And like I said, you can attach these using your regular bumper or with the, uh, the new hitch bumper. But what I love about it is, as you can see, it incorporates one pair of skis and poles per side, or you can add two snowboards. If you run the snowboards back to back, you can slide two snowboards in here, as well as a pow surf and that is just on one side. So most people will just need one side. If you're doing lots of sled skiing and snowboarding with your friends, then you're gonna want two sides. And on the other side here, you can see I have a pow surf. So these screws here come out if you want, if you do a lot of snowboarding or pow surfing, and you can add washers, it, remove, it bumps this out a little bit and allows for a little more space for that pow surf to slide right in. The other great thing when we're talking about uh, using the ski and snowboard rack from ski Do is, you can still use your link position one, two, and three if you need to need be. So in position one here, you can see I have the fuel caddy. It's also stackable, so I can put a bag up here. And then I've got my deep snow bag behind that, and that uh, provides up to 26 liters of waterproofness space, as well as it allows to have my shovel on top, and also the space under the bag for any wet stuff that I want to get rid of but don't want to put inside the dry bag. So now I can go skiing or snowboarding with two people, have gas for, the, for a full epic day, as well as two bags if I want to carry um, water, extra gloves, goggles, extra jackets, um, overnight gear if you're going into a cabin, and you can do that and drop it as needed. So it's a very, very simple but unique system that allows you to do it all um, together. The other great thing that if you're going to be uh, going into the backcountry and you're not going to be, all of a sudden you want to drop all your stuff, you can take basically the rack off and store it. And as well as this, the rack comes out this easy. Store your bag and now you can put these in your bag and now you're riding around without any of your gear. And that's the beauty of how quickly this system goes together. Likewise, if you want to add it back on, move the bag down, close it up, position one, slides on, insert the link bracket mount, like so. And Add your skis. And you're good to go. It's that easy. 
course, you can check this out online at skidoo.com. Of course, visit your local Skidoo dealer where you can pick it up. And we'll see you out there sled skiing, snowboarding, just getting out in the backcountry. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. It allows me to do more of this stuff. And if there's anything you want to see, make sure you ask in the questions and comments below. We'll see you out there.